Hello, I'm going to show you how to bring SVG backgrounds right into the Canva editor. Let's go. So I'm Matt Visiwig and we're headed to svgbackgrounds.com. Here you can grab a bunch of free and I like to think cool backgrounds. So I just selected this one. You can edit these and customize it to your liking. You can also make them look ugly if you please. So we're just going to go with a default for um, this tutorial. We're going to click the export button. I don't know if you can see that. When I do that, this overlay pops up and we're going to go to download the SVG. I'll go over here. It goes into this um, temporary downloads folder. Let's grab a few quick designs. Export, download, and let's grab one last one. Sure, this one. Export, download, and there we have it. So now we just head right over to Canva. I took the liberty to do to design this beforehand. When I say design it, I mean I clicked a template. Um, so we got that. Next, we just need to upload our SVGs that we downloaded. Going to drag and drop them. You can do this from a folder or your desktop if you're like me and have millions of different things you download and leave for forever. All right. Now that we have them, we can just literally drag and drop them into the design. Um, it places it above all the elements and behind the text. I actually want to put it right in the back. So I right click, send it back. It throws it to the very, very back. So I deleted the other background. And now I can just resize this. And now it covers the whole background. And I can, you know, drag and place it as I see fit. Let's say I want it right in the middle. I'm going to hit this position button. I don't know if you can see that position. And this is another way to send it to the very, very back or behind a few other elements. So right now I'm going to hit middle and center. And there I have it. This is the design I want. Very beautiful, right? Um, let's try some others while I talk about why you might want a SVG background. One is not going to pixelate when you stretch it out like this. Um, and then this was pretty easy. I mean, it literally took me 30 seconds to download three and then upload it and then drag it into the dis this design. Um, let's try one more. I like that, by the way. All right, last one. Put it in this corner and you can like stretch it out. Um, doesn't really work with this design. I liked probably the yellow one the best. Let's go to that. I hit undo a bunch of times. There we have it. I think this looked better than just a plain color. I hope that was helpful. And so all we did was go to svgbackgrounds.com, downloaded a few backgrounds, then quickly uploaded it really easy. And then you just can drag it right into your designs. Hope that was helpful. Enjoy.